Now in this video segment of a 66 year old male with the history of, uh, of uh, swelling of the uh, left hemisacrotum and he is very painful uh, to that region, uh, in that region, very painful. He is so tender to the probe. What we see is the right testis. Now I'm showing you the right testis, the right hemisacrotum and the right testis is in view. Now when I move the probe towards the left side, you can see the degree of hydronephrosis which is clear in consistency. This is the, in fact, I am showing you uh, the uh, right hemisacrotum now, and you can see the amount of fluid that is seen in this uh, sac. It's right hemisacrotum. Now the fluid in this uh, is approximately. Uh, 54 uh, 54 ml and uh, this is the left hemisphere in front of you another thing of importance to notice that uh, this is the test is now this is the longitude the maximum longitude in the section that I can get because it's very tender to the probe and uh, this is the maximum length. And it may is three point eight into two point one centimeter, normal dimensions, normally normal low level course ecogenicity, no calcification, no properly and seen. Uh, and it is surrounded by fluid. This is all fluid around it. Uh, now, what is this area with calcifications within it? This is the epididymis with uh, multiple tiny echogenic calcifications within it. This area is the epididymis, left epididymis, and these are all tiny calcifications. And uh, <coughs> this is the left testis. This is the fluid around it. You see, surrounded by fluid all over. And uh, the epididymis, uh, when uh, showing these calcification, keeping in view the age of the patient as well. It's suggestive of uh, some granulometrous disorder. Cox is very common with this amount of hydrocele as well. So this is the epididymis. Left epididymis. Now further evaluation shows that uh, the testis, if this is the transfer section of the testis and uh, you see this line, this line is suggestive, uh, is that of mediastinum testis 
if the media spin test is normal, this the uh, linear structure that you are seeing, then the test is normal. You can see the degree of uh, fluid that is surrounding this left test. So this is hydrocene uh, with the calcification uh, of the epididymis. The wall is thick and you can see small amount of fluid. Now this is the wall and then you see small amount of fluid in this region and this is the reason why the patient has tended that there is the fluid in the uh, sacrotal wall as well. They see, this is the fluid. This is fluid. This is fluid. This is fluid. This is the sacrotal wall. This is the testis. This is the fluid. This is the uh, fluid in this below the you know skin of the testis. This is the wall of the testis, and this fluid is in the right uh, left hemisacrotum. This being the left testis. So you can say that the wall is thick up to approximately uh, 8.4 with a fluid uh, layer seen uh, running around, along it. This is the coronal section of the left testis. This is to uh, show you the epididymis mainly. Let's only focus on the epididymis. There you are. I wish if I can get the epididymis. This is the good view of an epididymis of normal dimension, but with multiple calcifications. This this area measuring 22 and then and with 11.1 uh, millimeters is the epididymis. On the left side, and this is a part of the left testis. And uh, this is the fluid. <coughs> and the fluid is clear. All this is fluid. And the fluid is clear. And these areas where I'm going to mark the arrows, these are all tiny calcifications. And uh, hardly sparing any region of the of the epididymis. So multiple calcification, almost all uh, of the epididymis is showing calcification everywhere. So these arrows are suggestive of uh, calcification. <coughs> this is a coronal view. There is no uh, evidence of. Uh, now, this is a transfer section of both testes. And the left testes is appearing more ecogenic because of the fluid, uh, fluid within the left hemisphere. Uh, this is the epididymis that of the uh, right side, tiny calcification is also seen in this region. This is the testis and uh, epididymis. This is the epi head of the epididymis 
this is the cave of the Epidemus. And there is a tiny calcification seen in this region. This is part of the left testis. And this is the right testis. And you can see that uh, the, 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 there is this line, this linear structure is suggestive of uh, <coughs> mediasmum testis, which is intact. So this EP means epididymis, head of the epididymis. And this is the tail of the epididymis. Sorry tail of the epididymis and this is a tiny calcification seen in it and this is part of the left testis in this scanning in this scanning plan and this is fluid in the left hemisacrotum. Now you see that uh, there is no edema of the wall. The wall is thin on the right side and uh, there is uh, uh, no anomaly seen related to the, uh, the right testes or right hemisacrotum except that the tail is thick and uh, there is a tiny calcification seen within it. So the main pathology lies on the uh, left side. <coughs> Here we are. So, case of epididymitis, chronic with uh, skin edema. You see, this is the, again, I'm going to show you, this is fluid uh, just above the skin. This is the uh, skin of the sacrotum, outer skin of the sacrotum. Below it is seen a fluid ring, and this fluid ring, this one, this is the fluid ring just below the wall of the sacrotum. On the left side, and this is the testis, this is the epididymis, and this is a tiny calcification in this uh, uh, scanning plan. Sorry, calculus. And uh, all of this uh, testis is seen surrounded by fluid. So this is uh, our case of the day that is uh, suggestive of uh, chronic inflammatory process involving the uh, left epididymis with left hydrocele and uh, skin and fluid below in the uh, below the skin of the left hemisphere. Thank you very much.